Hello everybody, welcome to Canoe Club's wonderful world of capital. It is capital spring season of 2023 here at Canoe and we're just gonna run down through all the pieces that we got. It's fun, it's colorful, it's exciting. I'm excited, I hope you're excited too. Um, but yeah, my name's Ian and we'll just hop right into it. So starting with, I'll just start to my left here. I've been waiting on this piece for a really long time now. Uh, the distressing on it is beautiful. We have the Old Man in the Sea Crash Remake. Light wash denim, shredded and repaired. Beautiful as you can see all the way up the sides and down the brim. I love the little use of like the royal blue stitching. There's some purple in there as well. Um, and each one of these is different. That's also what I like. It's unique, they're special. You get yours, you feel like it's your own. And uh, I think as far as like bucket hats go, this is the top dog right here. So definitely looking to pick this one up for the summer. And if you appreciate distressing, you'll like this piece. And it also just, you know, has that buckle on the back. So you can adjust it um, minorly as well. These are actually a, fa a favorite of mine as well. They are like short aprons that you can attach through your belt loops on your pants to like the front, the side, and they come with two pockets. Boop, boop, boop. Right there, three different colors. You got the blue denim with the red and yellow font, white denim with the yellow font. Denim repair. And yeah, I mean, even if you're not utilizing the pockets, it's a really cool look. Um, give it a shot. I know it's something different, but it's, it's I think it's new, it's cool. It's, it's, it's what I wanna see. Moving on, I have long aprons, like full body. Let me just show you all at once here. Obviously the more traditional apron cut around the neck up top, lace it behind your back, your bottom. Same colors here as the short aprons. Love this kind of like worn painted look they have. Really cool. If you are somebody that is going to utilize it, it would be really helpful. Um, Chase, everybody knows Chase, is a sign painter. That's kind of his side gig. And he said that if he would have had one of these when he was sign painting a lot, it would have been really helpful. And plus it's capital and it'll look cool. So two and two there, or two birds, one stone, as you may say. Okay, sticking with the denim, moving on to the pair of denim we got. One of the pairs of denims, this is the Monkey Cisco. You've got this damaged and repaired knee down here. Kind of like, a, almost like geometrical pattern in a way, like a zigzag. Uh, it's really cool in person. The texture is really nice to the touch. Looks like they used a lighter, like royal blue stitch here and then like a navy over here. I like that duality. Super cool. I think last season they did the same colors. So it's nice to see that they're switching it up a bit. Back is blank. You have a bit of distressing. Looks like bleach spots there. Excuse me. And you can see the tag has kind of already started to like, sh not sh like, but yeah, like shrink and kind of lose its form uh, just because of the amount of washes this has gone through. You can tell that there has been a lot of love put into these jeans. So really cool pair here, Monkey Cisco. Moving on, next denim we have is the tuxedo pant. Bones on each side. This is like a nice stonewashed gray denim. Really pretty in person. It does have the back adjuster as well to give you that old school look with the different um, copper rivets. Really straightforward here. If you're a fan of the bones, you're a fan of these. Um, this is a great look um, and the way that they stack it's got a nice hem it's not too big not too small the the, the structure of the leg looks really cool um, especially when you wear like a boot and then you've got the bones up the side it's a classic capital look keeping it with pants this one's probably my favorite for this season the hickory stripe lumber pant double knee structure there actually got pockets on top of those knees which is pretty neat Ah, suspender buttons here if you wanted to go for the full like kind of railroad worker look. Lumberjack style. There's the back of them. Not really distressed, more so just a nice wash on these. Nice and soft. Definitely a great pant for the summer. 
button fly and then I'll bring it back one more time. There are copper closures for the um, back adjuster as well. It's kind of got this cool horseshoe U shape. Lots of utility structures here. Really cool pant, really straightforward. Um, pair really well with the, you know, nice light tops for the summer, whether it's a t-shirt or a nice linen button down. This is a good one to have. Another pant here that has this kind of Carhartt look with the double knees, pockets on top. This one's actually got like a shallow pocket and a deep pocket here. This is the Katsuragi pant, double knee pant from Capital. I love the use of this kind of wind day vintage workwear patch. It's on the hickory stripe as well. It's just really faded. These have a uh, bit of a elastic waist up on the back there. You saw the drawstrings up here, a little bit more relaxed, whereas the hickory stripe is maybe more so a straight fit. You can see the fading is really nice down here, a bigger hem. So yeah, definitely a baggier look to these. Got a zipper fly. Show you the back one more time, just a couple pockets there. No hammer, hammer loops for you. Maybe so, maybe more of a chill pant than a workwear pant, but still. Love the pocket structure as well. I've never seen that because you don't have the traditional side pocket, so that would be your main pockets right there. Dos colors in the linen Philly stripe. Really classic. Uh, Capital's done these before, uh, most notably the brown to match this, but I like the spring colors this year. A nice kind of uh, hmm, salmon-y red, maybe a little more darker than that, closer to apple. Yeah, it's like a Granny Smith and a Fuji you want to call it that. Um, <laughs> but they both have the brown drawstrings with the cool pattern there. Really straightforward stripe to show you the back. There is no side pocket. There is no, oh, there's one back pocket with a zipper. So these are really for chilling, relaxing, nice and flowy. Linen obviously is a great fabric for the summer. For you and get you a good look at the Granny Smith green. Oh, I apologize. There are slip pockets on the side. Don't listen to me. Yeah, two slip pockets and then a zip pocket on the back. We have the Ringo Man <laughs> coverall. It's like a linen, linen um, combination with this like almost like rayon-y fabric. Mustard and khaki here. I think the coolest part about this jacket is the giant pocket on the back. Two big pockets on the front. Really straightforward, nice fit on this. Um, a little shorter of a body for a coat. Really cool texture in person. I like the use of the two different materials. I think they play off each other really well. This is a fan favorite. Um, the feathers in general are really cool. But this white coat is, I mean, I just think it's awesome. It's beautiful. Um, I'm looking at it right now and I have never considered myself somebody to buy any of the feather garments, but this might be one that I want to pick up. You can see it's distressed and shredded at the bottom there. Very beautiful in person. The texture is really nice to the touch. Short body, trucker style denim jacket. Super cool. Nice and soft too. It's not too heavy either for this summer. This piece here is the Kakashi shirt. Very Japanese inspired as you can see. Almost like this robe cardigan look to it. It does have a tie here. Some zip pockets on the side as well, which is nice. You're not just holding everything in your hands. And this is a really nice light wash, lightweight denim. You can see it's kind of got a short arm, but nice and big. Super flowy, very relaxed, very fun. Um, this is so easy to elevate an outfit with. Throw it over top a t-shirt, whether it's a blank tee or a graphic tee, and a pair of nice uh, pair of jeans or chinos or whatever, whatever you feel comfor comfortable in, this is a great piece. It, you know, sometimes the simplest things are some of the best, so. Boom, bada, bing. Favorite, favorite, favorite home run, go Mets. 
they are not performing too well right now, but you know what? Make everything better with a capital baseball jersey. This one is sweet. You can see no letters on the back or anything. Cool denim patchwork and distress ink here. Nice light wash throughout. You've got a little velvet hit of some turquoise up here. Great country hardball. Don't play ball if you're not gonna play hard. Uh, you've seen the uh, previous ones they did in like canvas. I'm excited to see one that's in a nice denim. Good use of the different colors here. Um, in person, this is a beautiful piece. It's one of those like, do I frame it? Do I wear it? But we all know what Capital would want us to do and they want you to wear it. They want you to slide into home, steal home in this. Um, okay, big country. That's what it's called. Big sweat, big country. Right across the chest here, you have this beautiful indigo dyed uh, crew neck sweatshirt. It's actually kind of nice and heavy. Uh, it's good weight, feels like nice quality. Love the beautiful gold lettering here, very UCLA colored. I always come with my sports inspirations. But Capital has a lot of inspiration via American sports as well. Um, that big U Miami one is clearly like University of Miami football. And I like how they're kind of always doing a little bit of inspiration, whether it's baseball, football, or just that American college vibe. Um, they seem to be attracted to that. So really cool crew neck right here, blank on the back. It actually does have a um, adjuster to make it like kind of tighter and more cropped, I would say, like a more fitted towards the bottom. And then you have this cool T structure in the back as well. All right, returning once again, Eco Sweats. Smiley's on the back, really simple, really straightforward. Lighter than the one I just showed you. No adjuster in the back, just a straight up crew neck. And like I said about that other piece, the simplest can sometimes be the best. I own one of these and I wear it all the time. Just the smileys are perfect, you know? It's not too much, it's just enough. Choose your color. Box polo. These are just some pretty straightforward polos, no logo or anything from Capital here other than the tag on the inside. But what's cool about them is you can see it's got a really big boxy shape to it. Um, on body, they drape very well. It's a very interesting, cool look. The red is actually really beautiful in person. It's really bright. Go nice with a nice pair of blue jeans. But there you go. There you have it. Box polo, capital. Now, these two pieces are starting to remind me of older capital. This is the Carol polo. The colors are kind of what's doing that for me in this like old school look. It's kind of bringing that vibe back. Got like a maroon color and a tan. Cool pocket collar. Neck details. Does have a big cinched bottom here. So the fit would be a little more like up top and not so much draping at the bottom. Carol Polo from Capital. Nothing on the back. All right, almost the same vibe, but no cinch on the bottom here. This is the Capital Tennessee Polo. Cool stripes going down the front here. Buttons, oh, it's actually not a polo, I apologize. It buttons all the way down. So it is a button down shirt, just short sleeved. Nothing on the back. Similar to the box polo, you can see the really wide boxy fit. More so like a green khaki and maroon again. Super cool, super old school vibes. Love to see it. Material's nice too, really soft and light. Something almost like you would uh, go golfing in. I will say I have a buddy, his name is Sam. He loves golfing and he loves capital and he pulls off some of the craziest golf course fits ever. Um, so if you got capital and you like to golf, wear that out to the golf course, you get lots of compliments. <laughs> and finishing off the tops here, Got another ringer tee, really old school vibes, that retro look. This is like the thunder shirt, I believe they call it. Awesome graphic here. <laughs> you got a gray storm cloud, just bursting lightning onto this unsuspecting lonely tree. Super cool, like neon colors. The screen print is great. Little capital tag down here at the bottom. Great with a pair of capital jeans for the summer. All right, so that 
concludes this section, but we're not done yet. We have some accessories as well. Um, I'll just hop right into it. I think this is everybody's favorite. It seems to sell out first. We have all the 56 yarn socks back. Woo! Pastel colors for days. Which one's your favorite? I like the yellow. It reminds me of like an egg yolk. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but great socks for the spring, summer, lightweight. Um, they keep their structure pretty well. And the colors are great too. And you get a get a little smiley heel. So I know those will be gone soon. So if you do like them, get them, get them now. Go now. Um, <laughs> These are my favorites. We got the striped ones this year, a little heavier. Um, it does still say 56 yarns though. I think it's just more 56 yarn. <laughs> but you got the Rasta colors and then kind of the Rasta, um, almost like Bad Brains colors. But yeah, super straightforward. Still got the smiley there. A little taller than the uh, pastel ones. Rasta socks, sweet. Now, we don't usually get much jewelry from Capital, but if you're ever in Japan, their selection is beautiful. It's great. Um, but we're lucky enough to have these cool like eyeglass necklace, you know, holder. They go on the arms of each of the glasses and a gold and a silver. And they have these turquoise rocks, some beads, really simple yet elegant. And if you have glasses, I don't unfortunately, maybe I'll throw it on some sunglasses, convince myself to, to get this and make it work, but just, just really pretty. I would check out the photos online so you can get a better look. Or uh, if you're local, come in store. Bandanas. We have some restocks, some new, no pain, no, no crier, something, whatever that one is, the tattoo one. We've got the piece with the mushrooms in there, that one's great. We got the F off cat. There's a lot, um, like I said, new and restocked. So head to the website there to see the full collection. And then we'll finish it off with some bags. Um, they've got some great canvas totes for the spring. Nice. Good weight to these. They feel strong. They're not gonna, you know, bust open. This will last you a long, long time. Uh, navy, brown, kind of like a Kermit lime green. Super cool. They even do have the metal, uh, what would you call that? You know, like on a couch. <laughs> but yeah, they've got the metal things on the bottom. Even more strength to the bag. Button closure there, opens all the way up like a big square. You could fit a lot in here. Good little picnic bag, beach bag, whatever you call it, whatever you want to do. Wherever you find your rest and relaxation, bring this bag with you. And the final bag, which is probably the craziest. Woo! America! <laughs> million dollar bag. They call it the million dollar Boston bag, but my cameraman pointed out, it's almost like the Texas flag with the one star and then you got the big white and red stripe. But just super cool. I mean, like, if you're gonna carry a bunch of stuff, might as well do it in style. Love the different colors on this. It says Capital Country across. Nice big duffel bag for your traveling needs. Or if you're like me, just rock it empty. <laughs> and just, just solely rock it as an accessory. So, million dollar Boston bag going down. And that concludes all the capital we will be receiving for this spring. More to come maybe later in the summer, but if you like what you see, you can head on over to shopcanoeclub.com. Check out the Capitol page for better detailed pictures. And um, if you ever have sizing questions, just call the shop, email us. We're happy to measure things and try things on for you. Um, but yeah, let us know what you liked in the comments. What are some of your favorite pieces? What are you excited for? And uh, we always greatly appreciate everybody's support, whether you're watching or making orders. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you all and have a great, great start to your summer. Thank you.